yeah, you know, safety is one of those things. You need multiple layers because any any system by itself can fail and you, you need redundancy. So, and redundancy starts with your sensors. So first and foremost, you want to make sure you can see the world in more than one way uh, because any any single sensor can fail. Uh, so we have LiDAR, we have cameras, we have, we have other sensors on the robot that helps us. Uh, there are multiple cameras, for example, so you can see things from different angles. Um, so it, it starts with the sensors. Then the next step is the decision making. So the, the algorithms involved. We have uh, different algorithms doing the same task in a way, and and then seeing if they they can agree on on the decision that they're making. So that again introduces redundancy. The hardware itself has redundancy. For example, uh, robots have mechanical braking because you know batteries run out, and and if you only rely on electrical braking, which is usually what robots do, they apply power. To the motors to stop um, and keep it stopped versus when our robots run out of juice the the brakes come on automatically so the default state is that they don't move and that's actually also important because for many reasons you may run out of power or you may get disconnected from power for, for you know if there's anything wrong so that you you need to have multiple layers to make sure that everything is safe and it's something we've spent obviously a lot of time thinking about and making sure that we are imagining all the things that could go wrong and have an answer for it